guys, welcome back. Luca here, and today we will be talking about why you should be a software engineer. The first thing is the chance for interesting work. If you just think about technology, there are actually a lot of really complex problems that people are still trying to solve. For example, you can work on quantitative analysis, building model to predict the stock. You can write algorithm that will help your self-driving car drive itself. You can work on data science. You can work on products that improve people's life. You can work on projects that allow people to book planes, book hotel rooms. All of these are some of the examples that software engineer gets to tackle on. And these projects are very impactful, especially for someone who enjoy working on challenging, impactful projects. These are great opportunities. And with very challenging problem comes a lot of learning. If you are also someone who loves to continuous learning and improving yourself, software engineer is perfect for you. You will be faced with challenges that you haven't seen before, or you have to learn new technologies to help you solve things. So if you are someone very excited about solving new complex issues, or just learn, software engineering is perfect for you. Moving forward, I think the next reason is something that I enjoy a lot. It's the chance for remote work. There aren't a lot of jobs out there that actually allow you to work remotely. And software engineer is one of those jobs that lets you work anywhere from the world. In most cases, all you need is a computer and you can do your work pretty much anywhere you want. This gives you the flexibility to really plan around your daily life more than just a job. You have the chance to travel around the city, around the world, while working remotely anywhere with a Wi-Fi. This is something like a lot of people dreamed about and this is something I really enjoy. For example, if I want to go to, let's say, California next year to work for like, you know, two months on the road, I can do that. All I need is just to make sure there's like a cafe or the place I'm living at has Wi-Fi. And then after that, I can move to Seattle if I want or Chicago. You don't have to worry about the location you're in, but there are a few caveats. For example, bigger companies, they may not want you to work outside of your country. So that's definitely something you want to consider. Is it actually fully remote or is it full remote within the country that you're working for? Those are very different. But still, giving you the flexibility to travel around the US is still something amazing. Not a lot of jobs let you do that. So you can for sure work hard and then go for a hike or anything on the weekend. The next reason, the demand. Software engineer has been very desirable for the past few years now. Sure, like right now the economy is not very good and you've been seeing news about like people being laid off in tech. But on average speaking, tech is only going to grow. And based on a study, it shows that we will have an increased 21% demand by 2028. More job will be tech focused. And this is something that very, very good because that means you will have more job security on average than any other jobs. And you don't really have to worry about not being able to find a job because the demand is going to grow a lot higher. Another reason why this is also very good is the fact that Computer science is one of those jobs that doesn't require you to have, let's say, a major. You can easily go to a boot camp and study something and then apply for a big tech company or whichever tech company you want and start as a software engineer right there. Let's say like you can't do that for something like in finance as easily or even doctor. Like you have to go to med school or, you know, lawyers, you have to go to law school. But for a software engineer, all you really need is practice. And that's something amazing. That means everyone have a chance to become a software engineer. And that's definitely something that you don't really see a lot in other majors or fields. The next thing is probably something you hear a lot, perks. So especially for bigger technology companies, there are so many office perks. For example, going from very good 401k matches, really good health cares. And on average, they also provide you free food or some sort of transportation. And tech companies are known to have very good benefits, perks that makes the employee want to work there. Sure, like if you are going remote, you might not care as much. For example, most of the bigger tech companies, they offer all of these benefits on top of like a very flexible PTO, like pay time off, as well as like opportunity to work on very big projects that affect billions of users. I would say the company perks is definitely something that's very underrated because perks alone can sometimes make up for like 10 to 20K of value depending on which company you work at. 
And that's definitely something to keep in mind. And a lot of times, companies use these perks to attract talents. And that's definitely something you don't get to see in a lot of the other fields. So yeah, who doesn't like to go to work and there's free food cafeterias on site that you don't have to pay anything and just get free food? That's definitely something that you don't really see very often. And the last thing is probably the most desirable thing that everyone looks at is the high initial salary amount. And, and the next thing and the next thing is definitely something everyone already heard of, how software engineer gets paid really well. On average, in New York City, the median salary for a software engineer is 100k. And 100k, and that's and that is way above the national average. So because the fact that this job not only has all the benefits that I just mentioned, but they also pays you really, really well. That's probably why a lot of people want to become a software engineer because it's a very easy way to get paid a lot. And the next thing I already heard of, how software engineer gets paid really well. On average, in New York City, the median salary for a software engineer is 100K. And that is way above the national average. Because the fact that this job not only has all the benefits that I just mentioned, but they also pays you really, really well. That's probably why a lot of people want to become a software engineer because it's a very easy way to get paid a lot. If you are lucky and you work at one of the bigger tech companies, they also offer you stocks on top of your base salary. And if you are someone who wants to retire early, this will be perfect because software engineers, they pay you a lot. So by the time you work for 10, 20 years, you would already accumulate a lot of asset. And this is something not a lot of other jobs may offer you. Those are some of the most more important perks that I think why you should be a software engineer. And if I had to pick one of my favorite ones, it's definitely remote work. You hear a lot about those digital nomads just traveling across the wilderness, bringing your laptop, and for me, it's probably my cat. And uh, we can just work from any cafe anywhere in the US, and that's just something amazing. And on top of that, you get paid to work, and you get to work on very challenging problems. Those are additional perks. If you are not yet a software engineer, don't worry, you can watch my other videos. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure to comment below. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe.